Hi, this is Untold Force, and today in the VKB workshop, we're going to be playing around with the Stex Modern Throttle Max. Um, I have the Stex Max version, but there are four different versions of it. It's the uh, Stex Max, the Stex Standard, the Stex Mini Plus, and the Stex Mini. Now, many people, um, especially people who are just getting the new version of the Stex, the Stex Mark II right grip, which has the um, thumb, uh, there's, well, sorry, not a thumb, it's an index stick on the front. And I'll show you what we're doing, what we're dealing with here. So I'll click axes. So you now have a um, mini stick in the index finger MB1 position. So right now I'm moving that stick up and down and right and left. So you can see that you've got two different axes that are available. You also, of course, have the OTS position mini stick from on both the Mark 1 and the Mark 2 right grip. And that is, uh, this is the OTS position mini stick here. So I, you can see that at least how it auto configs here, it's going with rote X and rote Y for the OTS position mini stick. And for the MB1 position mini stick, we're dealing with slider one and rote Z. Um, well, the, uh, a lot of people ask, can I program the mini stick to act, to act as a POV? Um, you can, uh, and also if you get the Stex Standard or Stex Max, it should come with the modules so you can replace the mini stick um, in the index finger position with the uh, five-way hat. It includes push. Um, or you can also purchase uh, those that button module. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new POV. So I'm just going to go under the profile. Uh, that's what I clicked here. I click profile. I click POVs. And you can see by default, this comes with a low res eight way um, POV uh, as the number one POV. Um, and we will create a new one. But before we do anything, I always recommend that you should uh, save your profile. So I'm going to save my profile here. I've got a whole bunch of things. So I'm just going to name this. Uh, it's going to be a backup. So there we go. Um, always save your profile. And also, your version of VKB device config might be different than mine. Uh, your firmware revision, uh, revision might be different. That's okay. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new POV type. In this case, we're going to create a low res four way. Output um, is going to be POV. It's going to be, um, we're going to take two axes. And if you recall um, from over here, that this is axis one, two, three, four. Uh, so that should be six and seven, but we can always double check by going under profile axes and make sure that that's six and seven and looks like that is correct. So we're gonna go and set this to six and seven. And uh, what we'll do is we're just going to ch double check one more thing, make sure that the X axis is six. Let's check the X axis. Yeah, that looks to be, that's right. So we'll go back under profile, six and seven. Um, and we'll set it to a cross dead band and I'll set it to always active. I'm going to click set. That's the only way to uh, send the configuration to your device. And notice how we don't have it enabled yet. So we're going to go under here to the global tab. And we're going to increase the number of POVs to two. And we'll set that. And now let's see what we've got. So we'll go to test. And now you can see that I've got POV2 is working as expected, if you want to invert any of these, I can show you how to invert that. So inversion would just uh, flip flop left and right or up and down. So you can go under profile back to POVs and you can check this little invert button if you wish to invert them. You can also change the dead zone. You may not want such a large dead zone or you might want an even larger dead zone. That's all okay. Um, one other thing that you'll notice is that while we are getting POV2, while it's working, um, it will also be sending the axis output. So notice how we still have that axis output being sent. 
Now what we can do is we can um, hide that from the computer if you want. This is of course entirely optional to you. If you go under profile, axes, and then see how there's a VS checkbox that makes it visible to the computer. If we uncheck axes six and seven and then set it, we will no longer have that visible as an axis to the computer. So if we go under axes, notice how it's now not there anymore. But the POV, most importantly, still works. Notice how that POV2 is still working right there. Now, let's say you might want to change this so that instead of it being a four-way POV, you want an eight-way POV. You can also, of course, set that up. Go under profile at the bottom, go to POVs, and instead of it being low res uh, four way, you can change it to low res eight way. We'll set that. And now we'll go to the test tab and take a look at it. Now, notice how we have eight different directions available to the POV. Um, I like having four way POV hats, but some people like having the additional options for eight way hats. Um, or eight-way POVs. Uh, so you've got plenty of options here. I hope this uh, was helpful. And if you have any more questions, you can definitely leave a comment in, uh, well, in the comment section below. And I would love to help you and uh, see what other suggestions you'd like for me to cover. Thank you very much.